Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to do part D. Given the initial condition y prime 0 and y 0 is equal to 0, solve the differential equation d2y dt squared plus 9y equal to f of t, where f of t is equal to t for t between 0 and 1, equal to 2 for t between 1 and 3, and 0 for t greater than 3. Let's look at the solution. We are going to solve this equation by using Laplace transform now. So, to solve this equation, we take the Laplace transform everywhere of each term. So, we have Laplace transform of d2y dt squared plus 9 times Laplace transform y equal to Laplace transform of ft. Now, applying the formula for Laplace transform, we will find that the first term, Laplace transform of d2y dt squared is equal to s squared Laplace transform of y minus s times y0 minus y prime 0 and then Laplace transform of ft which which we did earlier or you copy from the question is 1 over s squared plus 1 over s minus 1 over s squared times e power minus s minus 2 over s times e power minus 3s now you put in the initial condition we are given that y of 0 is equal to 0 y prime of 0 also given as 0 therefore the equation can be simplified to s squared plus 9 times the bus transform of y equal 1 over s squared plus 1 over s minus 1 over s squared e power minus s minus 2 over s e power minus 3s. Now multiply both both sides by 1 over s squared plus 9. You get the bus transform of y equal to 1 over s squared times s squared plus 9 plus 1 over s times s squared plus 9 minus 1 over s squared times s squared plus 9 times e power minus s minus 2 over s s squared plus 9 e power minus 3s. According to the result of part c, like inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared s squared plus 9 is 1 over 9 t minus 1 third sine 3t and inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s s squared plus 9 for example you need that also is equal to 1 over 9 times 1 minus cosine 3t. Therefore, we can use this to help us, especially for the second term where you need to use a second shift. Remember the second shift? Now it's the inverse Laplace transform of f of s e minus cs is f of t minus c u of t minus c. So in particular, 1 over s times s squared plus 9 inverse Laplace transform is 1 over 9 1 minus cosine 3t. So if you multiply by e power minus 3s, then the whole thing becomes change the t to t minus 3 and multiply by u of t minus 3. This is how we apply the second shift theorem. Now similarly, you can use it on the harder terms or second term, apply the inverse Laplace transform, second shift theorem, L inverse of f of s, e of minus e s, f of t minus c, e of t minus c. So, if you ignore the e power minus s in the second term, this will give you the expression as here. So, if you multiply by e power minus c, here, e power minus s here by c equal to 1 now. So, you'll get 1 over 9, t will change to t minus 1, minus 1 third, sine 3, t will change to t minus 1, minus 1 over 9, 1 minus, we're going to multiply the whole expression by u of t minus 1. So the adjustment you need to make are given in here after applying the second shift. So putting all this together, now by transform of y is this complicated expression. So y in will be L inverse of all this expression and apply the result we obtained earlier. So L inverse of 1 over s squared and s squared plus 9 is this term 1 over 9 times t minus 1 third sine 3t and as for the rest L inverse of 1 over okay 1 over e power minus e s, 3 s, s times s squared plus 9 it will be 1 minus cosine 3 t 
minus 3 times u t minus 3 for this particular term and the middle term I found out that after I apply a second shift you have this long expression that is the end of the recording